let this court on technicality as Enik and other courts have been doing to conclude this matter, my lord. I rest my honorable case. This is my verdict. Just 101 TV. I love this. Those pictures, no. those text messages. No. <laughs> when the video was big like a baby. Bad days. Oh, oh, one. Bad days. <laughs> oh, one. Objection, my lord. As a line in session 40 of the Nigeria Constitution as amended, grant individuals, my lord, the rights to associate freely. To associate freely. To associate freely with other objection, my lord. To why are Nigerians dragging my client, my honorable client, on the internet on infidelity? Why did the Lord provide that everyone has the right to associate? To associate. To associate. To associate. To associate my, lord. my lord. The first provision we will rely on is section 37 of the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria why this provision protects individuals rights to engage in private relationship as davido has done and has gone beyond his boundaries my lord gone beyond his boundaries after four baby mamas oh my lord shake it mm, have you said that it does he not condone actions that infringe upon the rights of others or violate the principles of fidelity within a committed relationship, my lord. Badass. Bado, the badass. Badass in. Mm. My lord, my client here associating with Anita Brown, my lord. I will see no offense there because the law says that we can associate with anybody. Association does not mean nothing. In fact, that's why we have freedom of worship, freedom of speech, and freedom of association, my lord. And my client, Mr. David Duadeleke, my honorable client, O-O-1, the baddest, she <laughs> has freely associated with one, two, Three and they count, my lord. So there's no offense, them objection, my lord. I invoke this provision to argue that individuals have the right to engage in the relationship or association of their choice. And my lord, my client here, the video, found a French woman called an associated, my lord. This is a provision of the law, my lord. Objection, my lord. My client indulge in it within the provision of the constitution so ah, ah, i'm flagabasted i'm surprised i'm perplexed on uh, on this dragging online and offline and even to this honorable court why my clients acted within the provision of the law my lord objection my lord May I submit that even this Anita Brown is even a temptation, my lord. Shake this! You see now, you see now. Oh my goodness. You know what you are saying? It's temptation. The temptation is just a uh, prey. I'm not supporting you on that. Because Chef Choma has almost everything she has. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't say that. What do you mean? Don't say that they have things that Choma does not have. <laughs> Look at how they went. Oh my goodness. What are you saying? Uh, Anita, Anita Brown. Mm. This piece of evidence that will tender will establish that David Doe knowingly engaged in an extramarital affair, thereby violating the principles of fidelity and trust that that are essential in any committed relationship. Oh, Choma, objection, my lord. Take heart, Choma, Choma, take heart. It is essential to recognize that these allegations alone does not constitute sufficient evidence to prove guilt, my lord. Objection, my lord. We must uphold the principle of presumption of innocence and require the prosecution to present concrete evidence that demonstrates that my client here, Mr. Dave Ido, involvement in this alleged if <laughs> my lord, until then, my client, Mr. Davido, oh, oh, one, she, badass, who <laughs> oh, 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 is not guilty, my lord. We have presented compelling evidence 
that David Do. I'm on a David Do, baddest. Who they breed? Committed fidelity by engaging in a relationship with Anita Brown. We urge the court to hold David Do accountable for his actions and ensure justice. Justice is served of these things that is happening are called media stunts. They are based on mere allegations. So therefore, I will urge this court not to go by mere allegation to give judgment, but rather let this court act on technicality, technicality as Enik and other courts have been doing to conclude this matter, my lord. I rest my honorable case. The right to privacy as enshrined in section 37 of the Nigerian Constitution protects individuals from unwarranted interference in their private lives. While infidelity is a breach of trust within a relationship, it may not necessarily be a violation of the right to privacy unless there is evidence of unauthorized surveillance or unlawful intrusion into private communication. This is my verdict. The general public are advised to mind their business. Ah! <laughs> 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 Produced 101 TV.